In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to mine Ethereum on HiveOS and Windows, and also how to set up your wallet on MetaMask. Right, so to start things off, the Ethereum project is only 44 days old and it's running on the ETHB3 algorithm. Now, if we take a look over on their homepage, if we read through the description that they've got on their front of their page of their summary, you can see the Ethereum is a new blockchain project that aims to revive the original vision of Ethereum as a global decentralized platform for money and new kinds of applications. Ethereum is based on modified versions of the Ethereum Go client, which is a fork of the official 1.11.6 release. This was the final release to support proof of work. Ethereum is not just another Ethereum clone. It has several unique features that make it stand out from the crowd. Here are some of them. So ETHash B3, Ethereum uses a new proof of work consensus algorithm that replaces the hash functions with Blake 3. This allowed for a natural progression of the chain from CPU mining to GPU mining, as well as improved security and performance. RTH Ethereum has its own native currency, which is used to pay for transactions, smart contracts on the network. RTH has a fixed supply schedule that starts with four RTH per block and gradually decreases to one RTH per block after nine years. The total supply up to nine years will be 124, so 124,438,360 RTH plus block fees and uncle rewards compatibility. Ethereum is compatible with Ethereum's protocol, which means that it can run any Ethereum smart contract or decentralized application DAP without any modification. Ethereum also supports the BNB Smart Chain BEP20 token standard. And Ethereum also supports the BNB Smart Chain token standard. So the first thing that we're going to need to do to get ourselves set up and to mine Ethereum is we're going to need to set ourselves up with a MetaMask wallet. Now, this is very, very simple to do. If you've already got a MetaMask wallet yourself, all you're going to need to do is make sure that you open up your account, take yourself up to the top, go to the add a network click on this button here it should open you up an extension just like this so what we're going to do is we'd start typing in ethereum and what we would do if it doesn't pop it for yourself it may show up as just an ethereum network but you would fill in the details that would be populated on the side here and you would change them into for the network name you would change that to ethereum for the new rpc you'd put in theirs you'd put in their chain id you would use this symbol, currency symbol, should I say, and use their block explorer URL, and then you would press save. And then from there, you would be able to go to your wallet and just use your normal standard address and copy that. And from there, you would actually now have a mining address for Ethereum. So the wallet is very, very simple to do, and it's very, very safe. So make sure if you haven't got this already, make sure to download and install MetaMask and then follow the steps as mentioned there. If you go on to their website and you scroll to the bottom, it does show you the settings for MetaMask right here. So make sure they do and are the exact same as those when you're setting that up. That's very, very key and important. Now, also as well, because over the past couple of days, the reason it's you know caught my attention is for the past couple of days, it has been quite profitable to mine Ethereum. So for a coin that's only uh, been you know around for 44 days, it's definitely uh, you know making some moves for sure. So if we take a look over on to miner pool stats, you can see there's 1,823 miners currently at the moment. The price seems to be up 44%. Uh, 
compared to over the past seven days and as you can see there for the difficulty as well that's also uh, you know jumping up as well and hash rate obviously uh, it has been increasing because there's a lot more people getting interested uh, seeing as you know it's a lot more profitable than it was before right so uh, let's take ourselves over to mine and pull stats that's where I'm going to show you guys how to mine this today we're going to need to download SRB miner so if you take yourselves over to mine for people.com it's a great uh, mine and pull make sure you click on the download srb miner it'll take you over to the github i will leave a github link for the srb miner down there for you but you will need the version 2.3.4 or later because uh you'll need the eth b3 algorithm support as that's only just been added so what you need to do is take yourselves over here click on the 2.3.4 download download this and then once you have downloaded this you'll need to extract this to your desktop so let's open this up and then what you need to do is take the extracted folder there drag that straight to your desktop right there and I'm just going to do the replace there for myself and that's fine open this up now inside the SRB minor folder they already have a bat file ready for you set up in there which is great so what we're gonna need to do is open this up by right clicking and editing make sure that the pool address in the port is the best for yourself to make sure that you get the best ping and then you're gonna need to change the wallet address out with your own wallet now, to grab your wallet address, you just need to take yourself back to your MetaMask wallet, copy the address at the top, take yourself back down to your Ethereum wallet, and then just paste in the address from there. Now, once you've got that address copied, make sure you save this and you close this off. Take yourself back over to your folder, double click. Let me just close off mine and if you double click you are now successfully mining to Ethereum and not if it pops up saying that you have a virus so you will have to allow that on the device for sure so start actions press yes and let's give that another shot and we should be mining successfully to Ethereum there we are okay so now it's successfully set itself up it's now initializing with the pool and it's identifying and recognizing that we are there and we've already accepted a share so as i said before make sure you copy to your address and if you take yourself back over to the pool of your own choice take yourself back over to mine for people it's a great pool uh, i love all the stats and the updates and little graphs and things that you guys keep doing over there so i'll always uh, jump on here for sure but what you need to do is make sure that you search uh, with your you know paste your address in there and once you've done that you'll be able to actually see your results your hash rate over a period of time and i've already started to mine for a few hours just to see what the results would be and within the past few hours i've already made um or you know mined up 0.2 RTH. So it's not too bad. Okay, and setting yourself up to mine Ethereum on HiveOS is just as simple as for Windows. So all you need to do is type in the coin symbol RTH in the top. You will need to add yourself your wallet. So you just need to paste your wallet in there from MetaMask and then paste that in there and enter yourself a name. But as I've already done that, I'm just going to pop that into there for now. For the pool of choice, we're going to be using mining for people and like i said because i'm in europe i'm going to click on the germany and then for the minor you're going to want to make sure that you have srb minor multi and then you will name that rth and create flight sheet then you would take yourself over to your worker take yourself to flight sheets and you'd find the flight sheet and you would run that from there and it would say worker updated successfully as i say mine's not currently switched on it is offline at the moment so don't forget as well if you do want to mine ethereum you will need to update to the latest version of hive os 0.6-222230820 as the latest as you can see there if we scroll down a little bit um, for the srb miner as you can see there it has added algorithm for the eth hash b3 so 
support for NVIDIA GPUs. So that's pretty cool as well. And don't forget as well, you can dual mine that with the SHA-512. Two, five, six. Okay, so there you have it, guys. If you watch the video all the way through, you will now be successfully mined on Ethereum. Let me know down in the comments, are you guys currently mining on Ethereum at the moment? Also, guys, I do want to take this time as well just to mention to check out our Discord and jump over on to our Twitter at, at Farrington Mafia or x.com, whatever you want to call it. We do currently have a giveaway at the moment of one of three of the Bring Your Own Device licenses from the Fry Foundation. If you haven't seen any of those videos, definitely check uh, out the channel for more information on those but they're pretty, pretty much a passive income device uh, that's plug and play you load the software on there and you can earn they've got multiple different versions of those right guys i'll see you guys in the next video